What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with the brand new Blue G91 Pro that I've been playing now for the past two weeks approximately and Blue was nice enough to send me this unit for review purposes. They sent me the unit in this big box where inside we're gonna find not just the phone but we also get the Area Pods and also the Area Pods Plus, a coffee mug and a shirt from them. So let's check this out. It says from Miami with love. Here we have the very nice blue logo right there. Then of course we get the coffee mug and it says make bold moves. Very nice. Thank you blue for sending this out to us. And again, here we have the earphones and of course the device in which we're gonna take out right now. So taking a look here at the products now, let's go ahead and set this one back a little bit and let's talk about the Area Pods Plus and the Area Pods. Well guys, I went ahead and tested both of them and I have to say that I saw myself using more of the Area Pods Plus. They kind of became an immediate favorite. Maybe because of the fact that we have an 18 hour battery pack inside. So you can get these charged for about four times approximately before running out of battery. They do last about six hours of listening time. They have an aluminum housing. They support a USB-C, but best of all, they come with Bluetooth version 5.1. On the other hand, these are made out of plastic. They have a lower capacity battery, only lasting about three hours approximately. And of course, they don't have Bluetooth 5.1. They come with Bluetooth 5.0. So for that reason, I would say go with the newer one, the Area Pods Plus, and you guys will thank me later. They also have better bass and better sound clarity than the Area Pods. Just keep that in mind. Now here we have the G91 Pro. So on the back side here, we get the specification 6.7 inch full hd plus infinity dot display this one has 394 ppi 60 hertz with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 it comes with a helio g90 processor 2.0 gigahertz octa core 64 bits 6 gigabytes of ram 120 gigabytes of internal storage you can upgrade it up to 128 gigabytes with the tf card available we get four cameras in the back but the main sensor is the Samsung 48 megapixel GM1, which is different from the G90 Pro and which had a 48 megapixel Sony IMX sensor. Now this one also comes with a depth sensor, a ultra wide five megapixel sensor and a macro lens as well. So we get this feature called super pixel with 108 megapixel super zoom, which works great. We're gonna be testing that later. We get a 16 megapixel selfie camera a 5,000 milliamp battery with wireless charging. And also check this out, we get a 30 watt max charger. They call it fast charger, but with about 20 minutes, you get this phone charged to about 50% with just 20 minutes. So it is super fast. And again, it gives you a lot of power for very little time. Fingerprint sensor, we get Android 11 as well. Also, just like we saw with the G90 Pro, this supports Verizon. I have my SIM card in it right now. We're gonna be testing that as well. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. And for our surprise, Blue just announced that this will have a price for a limited time of $150. They will offer you a $100 discount with your order and send the Area Pods Plus absolutely for free. This is only for the first few hundred orders. So keep that in mind, $150, a phone with a Helio G90 processor. To me personally, that's absolutely insane. So here we have, again, the phone. Let's go ahead and remove it out of the protector. We're gonna be talking about the phone in just a second, but we do get a lot of accessories like we have seen in the past with Blue. First of all, they come with a little divider, and inside here we have the 30 watt charger. Right here, we can read the specifications. 30 watt charger we get the USB-C cable right here. Then we find the earphones. And to be honest with you, I haven't tested these, but I did on the G90 Pro. They're okay. Maybe not my favorite, but they do work. Next, we get the blue sticker as usual. We find the SIM ejector tool. We get the manuals and the quick start guide of the G91 Pro. And voila, we do get a case. Now this case is rugged, as you can tell. Maybe not my preferred case, to be honest. I like them nice and smooth on the sides, but hey, it does protect your device 
from day one and you don't have to worry about purchasing another case and spending more money of course this all comes included for that same 150 dollars that i mentioned but keep in mind that this is only a limited time offer next we get here the screen protector a glass screen protector and that's all we get inside of the box so now we're going to go ahead and get the phone started and on the back side we do have a film that i want to remove and this phone on the back is made of plastic of course also the g91 comes in two different colors we get the moonstone which is the one that i have here and the graphite color and they both have a metallic gradient finish Getting a look at the back side here, we can see the cameras. We have that 48 megapixel GM1 sensor, which is the most important one. We get a two megapixel depth sensor, a two megapixel macro lens, and a five megapixel ultra wide with the LED flash, the fingerprint scanner. And as you can tell, it does look like metal, but again, it is made of plastic. We do get wireless charging inside with the 5,000 million battery. We don't get NFC. On the right side of the phone, we get the volume rockers up and down with the shiny frame here on the side. Towards the bottom, we get the USB-C port with the loudspeaker. We get the microphone and check this out. We do have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's still existing here with the G91 Pro. Then we get the SIM tray. It is a dual SIM, dual standby device and supports TF cards up to 120 gigabytes as I mentioned earlier. On the top here we get nothing but just the secondary microphone and that's pretty much it here guys for the body of this device on the front we get that 6.7 inch display and this is what it looks like colors are very nice and deep even though it is an lcd panel it does almost pass as an oled panel or amoled panel because the colors are super deep and check this out already we are getting support with verizon i'm getting 4g and yes we do get voice over LTE as well which is definitely a plus now we saw this with the G90 Pro and again it is still happening here with the G91 Pro as well now of course I went ahead and tested already the fingerprint scanner in which I'm going to do right now but first we have to enter a passcode because we just restarted the device it does get some fingerprints here on the front side but that's because we have a screen protector that comes with it already you can definitely remove it and maybe uh, make it a little easier to clean up but it's always great to have a screen protector on it so here we have the fingerprint scanner from being asleep and sometimes it does misread it a little bit that's because i wasn't aligning the finger properly but let's try that again here with my right finger you guys can see that it is not the fastest in the world or the most accurate but it does its job for the most part quite well especially if you have it already turned on like it is right now you place the fingerprint on the back then it's going to do the job a lot faster. Let's go ahead and try that here with the left finger. You can see that again, if the display is already on, it takes no time whatsoever. Another method of unlocking it is via face ID. So the phone here, I'm gonna place it directly to my face. You guys can see that that takes no time. I'm gonna hold it a little lower so you don't think I'm putting my fingerprint on the back side of it. So as you can tell, it reads it and automatically unlocks it. Now again, like I said, what really caught my eye with this particular device is the quality of the display and the fact that it is almost a bezel-less phone. There we have that dot camera on the front side, as I said before, and it just looks like a more expensive phone all the way around, guys. I've been using this thing now for about two weeks, approximately. You can tell by everything that I have on here. I have my whole finance stuff, my whole social stuff, and I've been using it as my main device the whole entire day as a matter of fact today i used it the whole entire day and i still came back with about this much of battery i think that if we scroll down i still have about 21 percent of battery and that was doing a lot of videos a lot of bluetooth music a lot of everything guys more than i usually do with my iphone 12 pro max and the battery is still holding up very well so of course I went ahead and just for reference purposes, I did the Intuito benchmark. I didn't get the 350,000 that Blue claims that it gets. I got a little less. So let's click on cancel here. I got 295,000, which is still a very impressive score. If you click here on my device, here we have all the details, the MTK 6785 with Android 11, as I said before. For the GPU, we get the Mali G76, which is great. 
we get 6 gigabytes of RAM, as I mentioned before, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, and much, much more. Now, something I almost forgot to mention here from the left side of the device is that we have a dedicated button for the Google Assistant. Another test I perform on the G91 Pro is the Geekbench 5, and this one gave it a single core score of 467 and a multi-core score of 1593. So this is definitely a decent device in terms of performance. The G90 processor is definitely going to serve very well for gaming. I didn't have an issue whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I did download the Ospo 9 game and also did Beach Buggy Racing 2 and some other games like I do even with my iPhone 12 Pro Max and other higher end devices. And I didn't see a difference in terms of lag and in terms of the gaming experience but keep in mind that this is not a 90 hertz display, it is a 60 hertz display, so we can't really compare it with the bigger guys, but for the price, even at $250, this phone performs very well with gaming, and we can't deny that whatsoever. So here we have all the toggles available on here. Like I said before, we don't have the option for NFC, so we really can't do that Google Pay stuff, but we do get wireless charging, and to me, Wireless charging is a lot more important than getting NFC. I can live without it. I don't use it as often. I usually use it when I forget my wallet, but that's about it. And I don't forget it often. So again, I can be without NFC, but not wireless charging. I use it every single night and I just got used to it. So this phone having it is absolutely amazing. Like I said before, this is a 5,000 million battery and it lasts the whole entire day without an issue. Now, when it comes here to the speakers, as I said before, it comes with one single loudspeaker on the bottom side of the phone. So when you are playing videos and playing video games as well, well, things are not gonna be as great as higher end devices in the sense of flagship phones like the iPhone or even the Pixel uh, 5a and other Pixel phones. Just you name it, a lot of budget phones in the market. There's too many to name right now, but you guys get the idea. This doesn't have stereo speakers, so it's not going to be the best sound quality out there, but again, it's definitely good for the price. So what we're going to do now is play this trailer and hear how it sounds. Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. The sudden return of the population necessary energy for the emergence to begin. How long do we have? Seven days. Do you guys get the idea if I accidentally press or put my finger on here? It's going to muffle the sound quite dramatically when you have stereo speakers that's a little bit harder to do just because you have sound coming from two different sides and so yes again stereo speakers would have been great but at this price point even at 250 dollars i really can't ask for much so far the phone is doing great with the speaker that it has but again i know there's a lot of people out there who are extremely picky the speaker is good but just not the best out there in the market our next subject here will be the camera. On the back, we have a four camera setup, as I said before. And if you click here on more, when you are on the settings, you can see we can do the 108 megapixel capacity. We click on it. You can see that things get a lot more detailed. And yes, I took a couple pictures. You're gonna see them here on the screen. I think that this feature works absolutely great. I have zero complaints about it. Then the next option we get here is, of course, the macro feature. And this is for when you want to take those super close up photos. Again, it does a very good job. Maybe not the best macro lens that I've seen out there, but at this price point is definitely the best. Then we get on more settings here, we get night mode, we get pro mode. And on pro mode, basically you can just change everything on the camera manually, which is definitely great. Sometimes we don't like how things are done or being done by the automated system and doing it manually definitely changes the way that you want your photos to look. We get panorama and of course we also have an ultra wide angle as well. If you we go here into photos we can change here to the ultra wide and this is where the 5 megapixel sensor kicks in and that's really really cool. If you go here on videos we go on settings we can change the quality here 
up to 4K 30 frames per second. We have 1080p, 720p, and 480p to save some memory. Now having 128 gigabytes, as I said before, to me, that's more than sufficient. You can still record in 4K and have plenty of space on here, or you can simply just go ahead and get the SD card installed on here, 128 gigabytes, and you will have more than sufficient memory to store your videos. So again, when it comes to the camera, I really have zero complaints. Here we have that 16 megapixel sensor camera. I kind of shot a video with it at 1080p today at work, and you guys can see that it does a great job with the wide angle and this is something that you want on cameras especially the selfie cameras that's why they're called selfie cameras sometimes we do them in a group sometimes we do them alone but you have that option of wide angle and that's very very good the sensor works absolutely outstanding i have zero complaints about it overall it is definitely a great camera in my opinion the display comes with great brightness i believe this is about 700 or 900 nits approximately but when we're outside, just because you get those vibrant colors, if you increase the brightness, you won't have an issue viewing it under the sun. Not at all. It feels like an OLED or an AMOLED panel. Again, it has to do because of the colors. Things are very nice and saturated. The viewing angles are absolutely great, as you guys can observe right here. But of course, if we had an OLED or AMOLED panel, things would have been a lot thinner. You can see right here how this screen is actually coming off of the frame a little bit. But that's because this is an LCD panel and LCD panels are usually a little bit thicker than OLED and AMOLED panels. So just keep that in mind. Of course, if we turn off here the Wi-Fi, we can see that we are getting 4G support right there with Verizon, guys. So again, this is definitely great news, just like we saw with the G90 Pro. So I really wasn't surprised when I saw that this phone supported it just because I have seen it in the past working as well. Of course, when it comes to the browser, this thing serves the web very, very fast. So let's try here eBay.com. Let's see how fast it is. So eBay.com. There we go. And you can see how fast that loaded just with 4G alone. Let's try another one. YouTube.com. Let's see how fast it does. There we go. YouTube. This one is a little uh, stronger for it to load and it did load quite fast as well. So maybe we're not getting 5G as of right now, but 4G here in the USA still works quite well. I don't have a complaint with it. So again, the browser is working great. Now, when it comes to the call quality, this phone works great. And maybe because I'm getting uh, with Verizon voice over LTE, but some uh, complaints that I had, which is one of the few that I have about this particular phone is the fact that when I had the AirPods Plus and even the AirPods connected to the phone and I was receiving phone calls, I couldn't hear them well enough i mean the music was fine but the phone call was not very clear but they could hit me nicely perfectly well just me not hearing them correctly i think that's a software issue here with the bluetooth and hopefully in the future we can get an update to get that fixed but that's the only minor bug that i noticed about this particular phone so far i did get an update already and that was when i first unboxed it of course i wasn't able to get it done here uh, on video but yes i did get an update and so here we have the uh, settings of the blue g91 you can see it is uh, pretty standard the things that are not standard is the navigation bar you can customize it to different colors you can change the layout as well you can even have it in case you want to hide the navigation bar and just have it with gestures you can do that as well so again it has tons of customizations when it comes to the navigation bar we do get here intelligent assistant you can flip to silent you have the three finger screenshot you have seen this in the past uh, very self-explanatory on here and nothing crazy nothing complicated we had digital well-being and parenting uh, and parental control excuse me so again just simple stuff other than that, everything else is pretty much basic on here. We have uh, display. We can set up to light mode and dark mode. I do like the dark mode a lot better. Uh, we had the brightness set to almost the max. I did have to change it manually. I don't like adaptive brightness. Sometimes it changes it without me uh, wanting it either a little brighter or a little less brighter. So for that reason, I decided to do it manually. To me, that works a little better. And uh, other than that, guys, the customization on this particular phone is quite basic. Again, we do get Android 11 on here. Let's go ahead and search that on about phone. And from here, you guys can see that we are getting the Android 11 as promised. 
So yes, it does have Android 11. And again, everything is working well with this Blue G91 Pro. Like I said, guys, even at $250, it is something to consider. But that offer at $150 and you get the Area Pods Plus, I would say this is a steal. With this being said, we have now completed here the unboxing and the review of the G91 Pro. Let me know down below what you guys think about this particular phone. Will you pass on it? Will you try it? And hey, if you try it and don't like it, if you live here in the United States, you can simply return it with Amazon Prime and you get your money back. But I can almost promise you that if you try this phone and you're looking for a good budget device, you won't return it. I can almost promise you that, guys. It's a very, very good phone for the price. You can't beat it. Let me know down below. Click on the bell icon, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys on my next one.